Hello and welcome to Creating with Mrs. C. I wanted to show you a quick painting lesson that I did with some students this week. It was very simple, age three and up can do it. Um, right in the center of my paper, I start with a line across. And then above or below that line, you can make another line the same length. We're going to turn those lines into a rectangle by drawing a straight line up and down. And then I point to the center of this rectangle and scooch over just a bit. I drag my finger up and put a little dot right above that rectangle. And from that dot, all I do is connect from that dot to the corners. Under this rectangle, I draw a line down just a little bit. I draw that line over, past the rectangle, and up. I go a little bit higher than my rectangle that I drew. And do you see this line right here? I repeat that line by drawing at the same angle, and it goes a little bit farther than that line. And then I draw down. So what I created was a piece of pie. And this pie could be a cake. You could draw some stripes or designs inside of this section, just like this piece of pie drew some circles. Or you might want to leave it plain, like this piece of pie. Maybe it's pumpkin pie. You could decide. On this top line right here, I want to make a circle because for me, this will be cream, but you could turn that circle into a cherry or something of your choice. You could leave this just as it is or right on top of this line because we're going to be painting. You can draw a wavy line right on top of it. Maybe you don't want to paint today. If you want to add color, you could just erase that line and add details. You could also add details to your crust. You could draw circles on here, or you could draw a curved line right on top of this line. Just little half circles to create a better crust. That is up to you. And then I look at the sides of my pie, and from this side to this side, I'm going to draw an oval. And this will be my plate. Whoop. There we go. And then on either side of this pie, you could also draw a line. Now, again, this picture, I just left it be. Or this picture, I wanted a table. So you could decide what type of a background you want. So on either side, I'm going to make a straight line over here. I'll go on this side of my pie, make a straight line the whole way to the edge. So whenever I paint my picture, I like to make my cream, that whipped cream, with a creamy color. So you could use a white or any color of your choice. This is more of a cream so that you could see it. If I used white, you might not be able to see it too well. So I used a little bit of a creamy tan color. Notice that I use an egg carton for my painting tray because I like to use whatever you have available in your home. You don't need fancy supplies for a project like this. I'm going to be making pumpkin pie. So I'm going to use an orange paint and I'm going to start with this area right here. Now when you draw, maybe you use a pencil or a crayon, whatever you have to draw with. I used a crayon so I can still see through my lines a little bit. So it might take more than one coat of paint for me not to see those lines anymore. What I'm going to do is when I get these globs of paint, I just spread them out a little bit. But your style of painting is up to you. Maybe you like those big brush strokes. They can be awesome and beautiful. You might want to leave them. Today I'm smoothing mine out the best I can. Okay. And while that dries, I'm going to work on something else in my picture. So I'm going to work on Hmm. work on this table. So your table could be any color that you choose. I'm 
going to use the same cream color that I used earlier. So right now I see that this orange is a little dry so I'm going to paint a second coat just right above it to fill in some of these darker lines that I can still see. And for this top of my pie, I'm going to make it a different shade of that orange. So to tint it, I'm going to take some of this orange and I'm going to mix it with this cream color that I used earlier. So if I mix this with the cream, Actually, this color right here would be a great crust color. So maybe with a little bit more orange and that white, I'll create a nice crust. And then I'll paint the top of my pie last because I'll create a color that's a little bit more orange for the top of the pie. You can make your crust any color that you want. right around the edges. Now I will be outlining my picture so I'm not too worried about the lines that I see. If you don't want those lines or if you don't want to outline then you could just keep covering them up with more layers of paint making sure to let it dry in between your coats of paint. Okay so I like that color for a crust and now I'm going to be adding more orange to this mixture. Until it's a color that I like. All right. Now you could paint your plate and your wall behind it any color that you choose. I'm going to put a little white on top of that to make it look a little bit brighter. And now I'm going to use black to outline. You could use any color that you want. You don't need to outline. That's completely up to you. But I'm going to trace right around my crust and the rest of my pie.
And that's it. You could, of course, add more details, maybe a napkin or a fork or some details to the back of your picture. You could add a shadow under your plate or maybe some crumbs on your plate. Design your painting however you want and I hope you enjoy. Happy holidays.